On their two-year winning streak, Corona del Sol is attempting to achieve a third state championship. In the wake of this unprecedented success, a group of amazing students have joined together to create a miraculous student section. Over the years, the section has grown and become a huge benefit for the players and team. It has grown in every sport, year to year, leading to the title of Arizona Republic's award for the best student section in Arizona. This is the tribe. I think Ober ranked our section number one because we're easily the most loud and uh, into the game than any other student section in the state, I think. I think he saw that when he came out to watch us. Well, Ober clearly is very well respected and he knows who's the best when he sees the best. And we are the best. I think Ober ranked us number one because we have a lot of kids at our home games and then we're just always loud and lively. The tribe is ran by the baseball players. The dads and uh, an assortment of other baseball and lacrosse players. Matty Douglas runs the tribe. The person who mostly starts the chants is uh, Trevor Wood. He's really rambunctious. The chants are mostly started by the people in the first row, which includes all the baseball players, lacrosse players. The changes that we'll make, just probably more intensity. Uh, one thing that we will be changing is uh, it will be male dominated for the first three rows so we can bring that high intensity. There's been some like talk about tradition on citing themes and you know there's different different ways you can decide on them. Me and Dane honestly we like the people's choice. The themes are decided by uh, Corona Del Sol's girls who get upset and they tell us what to do. If somebody wants to do something for a theme they just kind of say and then you almost vote on it. The themes are decided by um, all the seniors just kind of collaborating and thinking about some ideas and we just think about what's best. It feels great knowing that we have two of the state's greatest players to ever walk the earth. Connor and Casey being ranked in the top 10 um, makes me really feel really good inside. I feel uh, personally responsible for their success in high school basketball as I will feel personally responsible for their success in college too. I would describe the student section as very supportive, uh, very enthusiastic, and uh, really our sixth man of our team. They really help us out and, um, and I, they're the best in the state. We appreciate them greatly. Uh, I would describe the student section by saying that they're huge, loud, and really intimidating. <laughs> uh, the student section affects how we play by uh, intimidating the other team. I think it really gets in their head when everybody's going against them. and we have all the people on our side, so it helps. I think they get our guys going, they give them uh, adrenaline. Um, when we need to get stops late in the game, um, they really help us, they give us that extra energy boost, so we, we, we definitely need them. I think if you're the best team in the state, you have to have the best student section in the state, so it kind of goes hand in hand. Uh, my favorite part about the section is when we're in the timeout and they do the roller coaster chant. My favorite chant has to be the roller coaster chant also. Um, my favorite part about the student section would have to be how loud and how like, encouraging they are and how much they back up the school and like all the athletic teams and stuff like that. My favorite part about the section is they get us going. They're very enthusiastic like I said. Um, uh, they're creative um, and they support us. An example last night they were loud and uh, got us going and then late in the game we had a timeout and they were behind our bench and they got all quiet so our players could hear our timeout. Um, that, that's, that's outstanding. I mean, that's, they're thinking about the team and they want the team to win. So as a coach, we couldn't ask for anything more from a student section.